Authorities from the Ministry of Local Government and Kabale Municipality have started the process of relocating vendors to the newly constructed Kabale Central Market by Rafa draws amidst heavy police and UPDF deployment. These vendors were shifted to temporary structures in Chigonj Kabale Police Barracks Market, where they have been working since 2019, as the construction of the 23 billion shillings market was underway constructed by a Chinese firm Chongqing International Construction Seco. According to the Assistant Programs Officer in charge of community development is the Minister of Local Government, Plosi Tuhirire, the relocation exercise will continue by rafford draws and is expected to climax on Friday this week. The process started with the vendors who deal in food stalls. We are here for vendor resettlement. Or vendors are getting their facilities back because the principal was you move to a temporary relocation site after construction, we come back to the follow to market. So that's what we are doing today. We have started with stalls people. Uh, these are people who deal in agricultural produce like uh, tomatoes, uh, uh, onions, cabbages, fruit, okay, fruits and vegetables. That's what we have handled today and the process is going on very well. People have turned up in big numbers and we are very appreciative and the uh, exercise is really further adds that the market will be of immediate use after the vendors are relocated back to the new facility. It is going to be of immediate use. As soon as we are located the facility, we are putting a date. Probably tomorrow they will use the market. There's nothing that they are still doing outside. The place where they have been operating is not in good condition to keep them there. So that's why we wish the council to settle them as soon as possible. The Kabale Municipality Mayor, Central Obia Mjisha, says that the market has a total capacity of 122 traders who be tenants of Kabale Municipal Council at a payment of each paying 150,000 on the ground floor and 100,000 on the first floor of the lockups monthly. Officially, we have started the process of resettling vendors into the new, new reconstructed market. And the, the raffling has started. People are picking ruffles and positioning themselves to wear the ruffle. Excellent. How many? We are, as per the register, we are targeting 1,022 people. And uh, we hope for by Friday the exercise uh, should have ended. And uh, if all goes well, we want to make sure that this market is free to rise. There are also, of course, there are other spaces that we are looking at such as uh, in the case, because we have a, a space behind the Madagascar's building where we want to also utilize. So as time goes on, we shall be seeing how to position people in different areas. The floor is 150 per month, the upper floor is 100. Centralo adds that the trader will be given a grace period of two months without paying rent to the council as a way of allowing the traders to fully settle in the new market. He also says that there will be a three-month cross supervision of the traders to see if they are effective using the stalls and lockups where, if not, they will be taken back by municipality authorities following the guidelines from the Ministry of Local Government. Of course, uh, as people are entering into the market, they are not settled. They have not started business. So you have to give them that period to settle, such as uh, the, 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 the get organized. So there is a grace period of two months, and after two months, that's when the, the vendors shall start paying the, the, the rent. So, of course, when we start counting, those who would not have occupied and started operating within the period of three months, the facility shall revert back to council, and the council shall give it out. Presiding over the opening of the market, the Kawa District Resident Commissioner Godfrey Nyakahuma asked the traders to cooperate with the authorities saying that the main purpose of this market is aiming at the common person so that they can improve their household income. He also says that the directive of the president of one trader owning one stall or lockup will omit the incidences of people owning many lockups, leaving others without. This market, or all these markets under my team, are targeting a common person, are targeting a common person by making sure that he uh, enhances the household incomes. That's why 
His Excellency the President has directed. And indeed, in all the communication we have and the guidelines governing this market, is that uh, uh, one person must own one store, one locker. Now, this one has eliminated people who had the, bought very many uh, lockups, knowing that uh, after completion of this market, they were going to use the lockups to hire them out to other people and earn a lot of money. Yakahuma father says that the new market is very more secure for the goods of the traders because of the presence of a police post within the market, security cameras, and the fence. Security uh, uh, of the markets is very, very uh, well organized. The foodstuffs, the merchandise of our people is very secure because there is a, a police post within within the market and the, that one actually uh, shows that the, the security of the area will be uh, very well managed uh, including uh, the fence you are seeing around so there will be no any trespass uh, Speaking to some of the vendors, they expressed their excitement to start using the new market after being in temporary poor structures for three years. The Kavale Central Market was constructed under the World Bank Funded Markets and Agriculture Trade Improvement Program, Matip 3. A story by Jena Namara, Robert Nyamachi for Kigiz TV. <laughs> To Sumure, to Nakasete, to Ravana, to Fizi, our president, Musevan, to Nagatara, 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 to Nag